We've had to make these decisions today because we want to make sure we've got an M&S for the future, one that's sustainable in terms of its returns to shareholders, but importantly reflects how customers have changed their shopping habits. That's more people moving online. No, everyone understands that more and more people are shopping now online, and that means less time in stores. What we want to do is make sure our estate gives customers exactly what they want in the future and reflects those changing shopping habits, both in terms of what they shop and where it's located. How difficult a decision was this for you to make, given that you've worked your way up from the shop floor to the top of M&S? And as someone said, this is not just store closures, it's M&S store closures with implications you know, for our high streets. These were really tough decisions. The business has spent a lot of time in the summer forensically analysing where we are with our customers, where we are with our stores and the marketplaces they trade in. And we've had to make some difficult decisions, but what we believe we're doing is building a Marks & Spencer which is sustainable for the future. And that's really important and important to me as somebody who's been here so long. I want to make sure that we've got a Marks & Spencer not just today, but tomorrow and forever.